The stand continues. Remember, we are talking about political party progression right here on Y254. I'm seeing so many people giving their comments, saying they are watching from different regions, different parts of the country and the world beyond. Remember, we are live on Facebook and on, uh, on our website at uh, www.y254.co.ke. Remember, the hashtag is the stand at Y254 channel on Twitter at Ram Agukor. We are joined by Karl Marx of Diambo and and uh, Mundalo advice. Before we went for the short break, I gave a, um, a, a, a comment by the Deputy President William Bruto. We'll be touching on different political parties. And just, let me uh, reread that the party has been hijacked by brokers who are running it through fear. Their word is the party position. The same virus that infected Kanu and killed it after the 2002 elections has come to Jubilee. We are talking about outside influence in a political party. Karl Marx, you are about to give your stand on that. You know, Ram, uh, thank, you, thank you so much once again. You know, sometimes if, uh, if you get to have leaders who are insidious or uh, uh, snarky or you can call them fidious, eh, you will get to a point whereby the deputy president can call his party members, mm. conmen, brokers, I don't know those, uh, those, those, those terminologies. Let me tell you, if you're the deputy president, meaning you're the second in command in that political party, when the con men are in that house, you're a con man. How? Because how do you live in a house whereby con men are? These brokers are in Jubilee. Where is the deputy president? He is complaining like an ordinary Kipkirui or uh, uh, Mundalo or uh, Koech or some whatever. Mundalo. Who do you expect? Who do you expect now to speak for, the f for, for his supporters? If he's the one complaining, this is the right time for him to actually show the leadership. If the party has been hijacked, he needs not to be there. What but this thing of lying to the supporters, basically Rama, if you've talked of all what uh, the deputy president actually uh, stated, okay, that means one to me, I believe is not is uh, actually very uh, economical with his uh, uh, with the truth. Number two, that guy doesn't want to tell his people, his supporters, the truth that you know, I've actually uh, got to the dead end, and nothing else. So before that, I think that party is the same party that these people were praising. Either they can do the reforms to make the party be the same party they want. Or that guy just ship out. As simple as that. He can form the deputy president. Instead of calling them all those funny, funny names, okay, this is the right time for him to tell them enough is enough. Advice. I don't think I can't actually sustain this pressure or maybe the smoke is too much. I need to get out of this place. Advice, you stand. You know, Ram, the deputy president is the deputy party leader of Jubilee Party. That, in essence, shows you that he's the second in command in the party. And therefore, when the second in command owns up to having a people away from himself who have taken the leadership and the management of the party which he is supposed to be leading, then he is owning up to the fact that he has nothing to actually tell the party supporters about the party. Therefore, in, to me, it simply means... Uh, uh, and the people that he's referring to, uh, by all respect, if it's maybe people like Honorable Murade, we know that they hold substantive position in the party, in the, in the name of vice chair. Uh, uh, Honorable Rafael Tuju is the secretary general. So these people are actually not, uh, not, not goons or, or, or actually conmen, as it says. To me, therefore, just means that maybe the party has taken a direction that is not agreeable to the philosophy of the deputy party leader. And when it comes, and w which is okay in politics, that a party can go a direction that you don't agree with as an individual. And I think the right thing to do at that point is number one, if you are in the leadership of the, country, of the party, you should try to steer it towards the right agenda that you formed the party on. You, and number you've, two, you've, you've, you've talked about uh, the deputy president steering the party, yes. meaning giving leadership qualities yes. through his own actions. You've also mentioned that as your stand. Uh, there, there is a, 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 a clip 
something that the deputy uh, said that will be running in a bit. Uh, my director, maybe you can uh, bring it up in a few minutes uh, coming up. What the deputy president said, you, you mentioned about leadership. Do you, as you mentioned your second, as you mentioned the second point, do you be, don't you think that based on his uh, utterances, he is displaying what he wants to be done? Ram, the deputy party leader of the party is not a position for him to complain about the party. It is a position for him to steer the party to the direction that the party is supposed to be. And when he joins the bandwagon of complainers, we then w tend to wonder then what he is doing as the deputy party leader. Because since we know the problem, he is actually not supposed to be echoing the problem to us. He is actually supposed to be providing solutions to us, not repeating the problem. The Ram, how do you complain to your juniors? Because he's telling them that next minute you'll be the president and he will be complaining to the minister.